Hey guys, so this video may be boring for you guys, but I am currently taking down my animal net. Um, yeah, see like, it's disappearing guys. So I was putting my stuffed animals away in my closet and I found a very special old friend from 2012. And you might be saying, what the world are you doing making a video on it? My little buddy is a Lorax. You might be thinking, why is the Lorax brown? Not, like, bright orange? I'm going to share that story with you. And I'm going to share my little Lorax story. Um, so, back in 2012, I heard that Taylor was lending her voice to the Lorax for Dr. Seuss, and she was going to star in it with Zac Efron, and she was going to have the voice of Audrey. So I begged my mom and begged my mom, and I remember going to, I forget what movie I went with, with my friend. It was, shoot, I can't remember what movie it was. Um... Anyways, I went to a movie with my friend before that, and I saw the Lorax, like, big giant, you know how they have, like, posters and stuff in movie theaters? They had, like, a statue, and I took my picture by it, and I took pictures of it. So that was probably, like, late 2011 that I saw that. But anyways, um, then I was like, Mom, we gotta go see it. And on opening weekend in 2012, my mom took me to go see the Lorax. So... I was really excited, and the only reason I went to go see it was because of Taylor, to be honest. Um, and that's the reason I'm going to go see The Giver. And when Valentine's Day first came out, um, I think it was like, I think it was 2010, right? Let's see. Where does it say on here? Yes, 2010. Um, I was 19 years old, and if any of you Swifties have seen... Have, sorry, not you guys, have seen this movie, um, you'll know that it's not necessarily for little kids. So anyways, I wasn't able to watch, um, Valentine's Day, and to be honest, I only saw it last year. Like, I saw it, I think, summer 2013, because my grandma got the movie, and we're obsessed with the movie, like, we watch it all the time. Um, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, by the way, do you guys like my outfit? I don't know if you guys can see it. It's Taylor inspired. I think Taylor would wear it. Anyways, getting back on subject. So I went to go see the Lorax, and I was really excited, and Taylor was in it, so it just like... And my mom, you know how in the beginning of the Lorax, it, there's like a little music part. My mom's like, why didn't Taylor sing for that? She should have sang for that. I remember her saying that. And I just remember being, like, so excited. And I don't know where it is. I saw it just the other day. But it was this, like, they, at IHOP, they had little Lorax things and, like, menus and I remember drawing Taylor Swift and everything on it, so I was like obsessed with tree saving. And then I remembered a um, quote from it. If you like something, if you like something an awful lot, and that, unless you make a change, um, like something along that line, it's not going to change. It's not. I forget how exactly it went. But it was, oh my gosh, Lorax. So then when it was about to come out on DVD, at Best Buy, um, I was like, Dad, Dad, they're selling little stuffed animal Loraxes. And every time we'd go there to go purchase it, they'd be sold out because it was a really popular movie. And yeah, so anyways, I was like, gosh, Dad... Because my dad has eBay. So I was like, Dad, can you please go on eBay and see what they have for Loraxes? 
And all of them were super, super, super expensive. When I say super expensive, I mean really expensive. Anyways, so my dad got, I don't care, it's still a Lorax. It's like the cutest thing and I love it. It's just a little, he, he's like my buddy. I love him. I haven't seen him in like two years. It's depressing. See? Like, here, let's go in my bathroom, because then you can see, like, him in the light. But, like, he's, he's brown instead of light orange. But, like, look how cute he is, and he has a little tongue, too. He's, like, the cutest thing ever. Like, how can you not love him? But anyways, um, yes. That was my... I'm just going to title this video, I think, like, The Lorax or something. But... <sighs> Taylor, seriously, is a great actress. Like, she's willing to do things. Like, she's willing to compromise. Like, for example, um, you know, in CSI, she was like, more blood, more blood. If you don't know, she was on CSI. She guest starred CSI Los Angeles. Um, I think it was 2009? Or 2008. I think it was 2009, though. Um, and she was like, more blood, more blood, because she got murdered. And she's just, like, really flexible. I just really love that about Taylor. I love everything about Taylor. Let's just face it. But, um, if you remember going to see the Lorax, and I, and my dad also bought me a Lorax shirt. I need to find this stuff. I'm going through my room and, like, redoing everything, so hopefully I'll find some memories. Um, so anyways, I love you guys, and comment below if you remember going to see the Lorax on opening weekend, and yeah. I love you guys, and I just found my, like, my friend. Like, this reminds me of Taylor so much, because, because she's the whole reason I got into the Lorax. And I love her so much. She's helped me in so many ways. So, I love you guys. Put requests below. Put your Lorax request. Uh, yes, my Lorax request below. My Your Lorax, like, memories below. And I love you guys. Bye.